Iowa State University is a Research One land-grant university, and material science and engineering is one of the oldest departments in the College of Engineering. We have traditional strengths in metallurgical engineering and ceramic engineering, but today we also have interdisciplinary research in computational material science, polymers, composites, and biomedical materials. Iowa State University is one of only two universities that has a national lab that is actually on campus. We are an on-site uh, laboratory for the Department of Energy, the Ames Lab, uh, and we are famous around the world uh, for our developments in materials and uh, technologies uh, for application in industry. One of the areas of research that has already had significant impact is that of lead-free solder. Ames Lab scientist and faculty member Ivor Anderson has developed a green alternative to leaded solder for the electronics industry. My graduate student Chad Miller was essentially tasked with looking especially at a limited area of composition that we thought would be suitable for uh, electronic fabrication. He came back and said, we got it. Uh, and I looked at the chart and, and that, was our, that was our eureka moment, actually. We had a lot of momentum uh, behind us from the industry and they were excited to try it out. It's made tremendous impact because the solder is safe, economical, and it's already getting out there in products every day. We also have some really exciting research going on in biomaterials. Professor Mike Kessler is working on biopolymers that are derived from sustainable sources to make useful products. We work in composite materials, specifically looking at carbon fiber composites. The carbon fiber composites are, are really the material of choice for advanced aerospace applications where you need lightweight, uh, strength, and stiffness. The problem is that carbon fiber is very expensive and so other applications like wind energy and automobiles, they could really benefit by having a, a material like carbon fiber composites, uh, but that's just too expensive. So we're trying to develop low cost alternatives to the expensive aerospace grade carbon fiber. We're focusing on uh, carbon fiber from lignin. It's a biopolymer from, from plants and uh, trees available in huge quantities. The, the big difference is that it's, it's a low cost system, so we can take that lignin, modify it, and uh, blend it with other polymers to uh, reduce the cost of, of carbon fiber from 39 to 49 percent. Katie Bratley's work is really exciting because what she's looking at is finding new designs for polymer materials that actually deliver anti-cancer drugs only to malignant cells. It's been a very short time that we've been working on this, but we've already identified materials that have been able to reprogram certain types of cells that we are planning on using to deliver drugs for cancer patients in the future. Not only will the material deliver the drug, but the material will also change the cells so that the cells can combat the tumors as well. This is a huge step. If we can get the immune system to play in with the chemotherapeutic, that's a huge step because you're using not only a drug that you're administering, but you're also using the patient's own immune system. And there's nothing better than using the patient's own immune system to fight off something that's not supposed to be there. Our undergraduate and graduate students are truly exceptional. They have student organizations, material advantage for the undergraduate students and the Materials Research Society student chapter for the graduate students. They truly understand their role both in the profession and in society. Iowa State University Material Advantage has won most outstanding chapter in the nation for nine years in a row due to our excellence in um, professional development, outreach, and programming activities. So we're really proud of that achievement. We travel to a lot of the elementary schools in the area to teach the children about science, and specifically material science. So we do a lot of fun, hands-on activities with them that helps them learn more about the department and about the field of material science and helps them get their minds going about thinking about science and science fields. I think one of the benefits that the Materials Research Society chapter has had on Iowa State University is the fact that we try to integrate a number of the departments. By bringing this chapter forward, we were able to integrate a lot of the research that's going on throughout the university and have a single place where we can all focus and share that information. By having this chapter on this campus, what we've done is facilitated a uh, venue where the exchange of ideas can take place 
and create these opportunities for research. Undergraduates have a lot of career development opportunities through the Department of Material Science and Engineering, the most important being undergraduate research assistants. A lot of the research facilities on campus hire undergraduates to do research in the lab, and that's really important for students to get hands-on research experience that will help them in further careers, either in industry or going on to grad school to do research. Iowa State University Material Science and Engineering has a real commitment to putting engineering in context. We are solving real world problems. Students see these problems and they want to solve them. That's what makes them an engineer. And so at Iowa State, we focus on what those problems are and how we can go about making a difference today.